Hello, Miss Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Well, the subsurface extraction missile has been released. And for those of you who took part in the community goal that had you delivering materials to the Senlu system or even protecting those materials from pirates, then if you achieved at least 50% in the rankings, you would have got at least one subsurface extraction missile. If you didn't know, however, they are available via the rescue ships. Let's see how to get them, what they cost, what the score is. For those of you who didn't take part in the recent community goal to deliver materials or to protect material transports, get yourself over to a rescue ship. They're around and bring your credits. For 822,091 credits, that's what I was charged for anyway, you can get yourself a subsurface extraction missile. These missiles are what's going to enable you to pierce the Titan hull and get the humans that are stored within. Don't forget to set your fire groups as well on your ships. For this, you're going to need a Maelstrom ready ship. For those of you who've been taking part in the Maelstroms and mining the materials, you should know all about this. I like my Anaconda. It's called the Caustic Conda. It's heavily armoured and engineered and beefed up to withstand the caustic effects of the Maelstrom. If, however, all this is new to you, then don't worry. You're going to need some certain items. You're going to need hull armour, module armour. You're going to need a Caustic Sink launcher. You're going to need a heat sink launcher. You're going to need a Thargoid pulse wave neutralizer and also an enhanced AX scanner. And you're going to need the tool of choice that's just been released, the subsurface extraction missile. And also perhaps a beam laser with a bit of thermal vent on it just to be on the safe side. I like using a big ship like this. It affords me to take the edge off my terrible piloting skills and engagements with the Thargoids. But some people have been using smaller ships and been having better results. It's all down to the individual commander. Once you're inside the Maelstrom, and by now you should have seen enough videos on how to get in there, you've boosted past the Thargoid pulse wave and you're on approach to your Titan of choice. When you get this close, you're not going to incur any damage from caustic damage, so you can get rid of those heat sinks and move them out the way. And make sure you've got the Pulse Wave Xeno Scanner ready to scan the Titan. If you aim for the spines, the glowing red spines that you can see on one side of the Titan, and then get the Pulse Wave Scanner out, give it a good scanning, it will reveal, upon a successful scan, little chambers along the dorsal spines of the Titan. Yes, it's going to reveal other areas as well, like tissue samples and other things that you can harvest off, but the Titan subsurface storage chambers are what actually holding the human captives inside. Now, what you've got to do is, is very carefully, scan that subsurface storage chamber, then target that particular chamber Get your subsurface extraction missiles out, and just as you did with the mining aspect of Elite Dangerous, go through the slight mini game, which can be quite irritating sometimes, to extract the humans. Once you've found one, great, lock onto it, get your missiles out, and give it a good blasting. Now I found it a little bit hit and miss, and I'll demonstrate now. I managed to get there in the end, even though the subsurface missile was locked on. So here we go, I'm scanning. Brilliant, so there's one, great. I've selected it, no problem. There it is, subsurface storage chamber. Right, let's get to my proper fire group. There's my extraction subsurface missile. I've got it all locked on, and it just flies off. I got really frustrated with this. Perseverance, however, gets you through. It's all about the different angle I found. It's quite finicky, if that's a good word for it. Don't despair. It will get there in the end. All you need is a little bit more repositioning. I actually went to another one. Straight in there. No problems at all. And you can see on the bottom left-hand side of the screen, make sure you get the reticule in the blue area. That will be a successful 
for what I say is successful, it will release the humans below. I tend to, d to do a few of them, because as you're doing this, those cheeky Thargoid monkeys are also, with their scythes, got their thimpits out there to try and recollect whatever you release from the Titan. So it's probably worthwhile having quite a few limpets in the air. With this ship, the big ship gets me a class seven multi-limpet controller. All the limpets are in the air. Um, as those humans in their little pods fly out, I'm there ready to pick them all up as well. Just as I mentioned, the Thargoids are alerted to my presence and their thimpits are out to pick up those particular human pods. So it's not all easy sailing. So just to illustrate this again, I've got my limpets in the air. I've released the humans. There are the limpets and the Thargoid human biopods, or whatever they're called, being taken up. I'm being, look, there's a thimpet in hot pursuit of my limpet carrying a human who I'm rescuing. Look at this. Off he goes, into the cargo bay. Goodbye, Mr. Thargoid Thimpet. And that's it. But that's only one part of the problem. The next part is getting out alive. My advice, make sure your ship is packed to the very rafters, to the bulkheads even, full of heat sinks, so you can make a sneaky getaway. It's not gonna make it completely stealthy, but it's certainly gonna help. And as you can see, I'm getting a right old beasting. Right there. Anyway, just so you know, I did manage to make it out alive with at least nine of those pods. The Thargoids are in pursuit, they've got their thimpits, they're firing off caustic missiles. That's why I went for the multi-limpet controller that enabled me a little bit of breathing space. So that's how much the subsurface extraction missile costs, where to get it, how to get into the maelstrom, what kind of ship to use, and how to extract the humans from the subsurface chambers on the Titan. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I've quite enjoyed making this one. I'll be playing this till the cows come home. I'll see you soon.